welcome to Hunter News. This time we're gonna go through what has happened in the latest update. I hope you enjoy. So if we read this update together, I'm gonna do it from the top to the bottom. 3.15.13 update notes. I'm watching the second screen where I have the patch notes. Added landmark LODs for most large objects. I don't know what that means. I'm not smart. I'm pretty stupid. Added automa added out Added automatic landmark LODs for trees. Added landmark draw distance option. Added region, complexity to visibility menu in editor. Added config options for losses from combat versus environment deaths. Added buttons to enable disable skins and mystic mythics in game. Added new face and wheel of emotions to gestures menu. Added new hair and beard styles. Added smoothed camera mode. Accepted several new created workshop items. Improvements. Improved road vertices to have adjustable offset. Improved spawn tables tool to allow editing. Tweaked. Tweaked undriven vehicles to not damage players. Tweaked muscles to decrease drop slightly. Fixes. Fixed barrel bullet drop multiplier not applying. Fixed to include scaling in copy transform. Fixed first person muscle flashlight. Fixed workshop agreement link app ID. Map. As expected, more required objects popped up alongside final steps like spawn tables, but everything coming together, so I think it's safe to say you'll see you'll be seeing more about the new map very soon. And that's basically it for the update, and I'm gonna show you all how it looks in game and the new hairstyles. So let's go to appearance here. This is my character with the red eyes, the awesome bird. But uh, these are the new face styles they added. They added heart, dollar sign, wink, uh and that whatever it is they added some cool like this is pretty cool it's gonna be huge for those who do make like uh, unto you know unturned movie makings like nylix and uh, beard style they added this one i don't know what that's called a goatee uh this one this one this one this one this one this one and uh, then we have all of those who were here from before Pretty much. So if we go in game, press C, instead of just having these ones, they have added the ones that I talked about yesterday in yesterday's video, the faces, and you can show emotions, so... Bob really didn't have to die, he died two days ago. Rip Bob 2 k 16 Make that happen in the comments below, we're gonna make it trending on Twitter and everywhere. So basically, how does this work? If we press C, and press, for example, this dollar sign, oh, look at my character. Okay, that, my eye thing is in a way, but you get the point. I uh, get the hearts. Ooh, someone is in love. Bob could have showed that lady that he was seeing that he actually had feelings for her. For those who doesn't know who Bob is, go watch the other video regarding the face updates. And I really think this is major. This is something insane, and it's very good of Nelson to add this. Uh, me myself, I'm thinking of making some sort of starting to do a movie series or just so short skits or something like that and I think this would come in hand. For the camera update, if you're doing videos, this might come choppy, like you see when I drag it around it might be a bit choppy, but if we press shift F5, did you see that? Did you see what happened? Shift F5, this is normal, shift F5. It's much smoother, you know. So regarding the draw distance of uh, trees, you can just change the houses and such if you're gonna, for example, be able to look the draw distance. But if you press escape, go to options, no, uh, if you press escape, go to graphics, there's actually this called landmarks, press that, you can drag it to 100, and if you see trees and such come, come, they will pretty much, you will see them from a much further distance. It's pretty much like draw, nearby draw distance. But the nearby draw distance, that's the stuff that's close to you, so they draw. But landmarks, it's more in the distance, if you know what I mean. So now, if we go to the, our menu, our inventory, for example, I have this mythical on. To disable these effects, basically go down here to the effect. It's some stars here. Toggle mythics. If I press that, do you see? My, my, my mythical doesn't give these um, confetti thingies. And if I disable toggle skins, all the skins from my like guns and such, they get removed. Toggle cosmetics, basically it's everything I'm wearing. 
So that's pretty much the update for uh, disabling stuff in game. And that's pretty much it for that's pretty much it for this update. I hope you enjoyed this video and make sure to like and subscribe to the channel if you want more unturned content. Later today there will be No Man's Sky content because No Man's Sky is getting released in about an hour from now when I'm recording this video. My name is MTN. I hope you have a wonderful day. I'm out. And as always, stay calm.